My name is Felicia Montes. I'm an artist, activist, uh, organizer, performer, poet, uh, professor at times, and educator overall. Um, I was born in El Paso, Texas, and have lived most of my life and worked in the community of greater East Los Angeles. Um, Schooling-wise, I have uh, graduated with a BA in World Arts and Cultures and a minor in Chicana Chicano Studies at UCLA. Uh, master's in Chicana Chicano Studies, Chicano Studies at Cal State Northridge, and a master's in Fine Arts at Otis Art School and Public Practice Art. Basically, all of those for me um, are papers and paperwork that show that um, I have created or documented something um, within the academic world, but also to me have always been very interdisciplinary and community focused degrees, so work that I was always still doing in the community and um, creation and creativity and organizing work that I was able to bridge um, with academics. So I have been a part for over, well, about 15 plus, now almost 16 years, of a group called Mujeres de Maiz, a Women of Color Spiritual Artivist Collective, um, based here in Los Angeles, and also the founding group of Mujeres de Maiz. Uh, in La Quech, which is a Chicana spoken word, poetry, and drumming group. Um, those groups have very much uh, been a part of me spiritually, artistically, um, politically, uh, culturally, and have really helped me to be who I am. Um, but most of the things that I've learned have very much been from my parents who were involved in the movement, um, the Chicanao movement from the 60s and 70s. And I'm really a child of the movement and have found my own path and road, um, spiritually and artistically, uh, a little bit different from my parents. Well, I was born a, a child of the movement. Uh, my parents were involved in the 60s and 70s here in East LA and across the Southwest in the Chicano, Chicano Power Movement. And um, having grown up in that, I was actually um, born under a different name. Um, so I think a lot of my life has been about um, identity and understanding who I am um, as a woman, as a Chicana, but also as a person within the movement. Having grown up going to meetings, to events, um, you know, that was what we did as a family. Um, and um, growing up or just trying to find out, you know, through, through adolescence and college, etc., just trying to find out who I was um, aside from that and also within that and find my own way. So I really think that my own path um, different from my parents, but also part of the movement has been to find myself um, to share who I am and my story and my testimonial through art, um, whether it be performance art, poetry, spoken word, or installations and photography, etc. But also spiritually, I think very different from um, my movement upbringing was is that I have really tried to find a spiritual path and um, identify as a Chicana Indígena on the Red Road. Um, where anything that comes to me, I'm able to use those tools and understandings and traditions to, to heal myself and try to try to heal myself, right, a lifelong process, but also to be able to share that with other young women. And as a part of Mujeres de Maíz, when we first started um, about 15 years ago, uh, as a woman group and a collective that was coming together, because we were women coming together, we, there was a lot of questions about who we were and what we were doing and why are you all coming together and are, are you all feminists, do you all hate men, are you all lesbians? And you know, we said, well, some of us are one of those things, some of us are all of those things, and some of us are none of those things, but we just are coming together as women. Um, and we didn't ask if that was okay, though people questioned us, um, but we knew that it was okay and it was feeling good for us. And um, I think that was most important. To, uh, we saw a lot of um, pushback, uh, mainly from males in the community back then. Um, but what I've learned from that a lot, and kind of my story, I think, of resiliency has definitely been understanding, trying to understand self and understand the community and understand where people are coming from, um, their own experiences, um, and also traumas and issues, and try and understand mine and really kind of become understand where we can connect and where we can. Um, talk and dialogue. I've learned a lot of that too, also because of the work with the Zapatistas that we have done as Chicana Chicano artists for about 15 plus years, um, and trying to understand, you know, where people are coming from. You know, the same, you know, walk in other person's moccasins or or tennies or high tops, right? Or 
huaraches in, in our case oftentimes. And so um, even more recently, I, I'm, I'm feeling that a little bit more too in terms of pushback and um, questioning. And for me, I honor um, people's questions and understanding of what we do and I, and I try and dialogue and, and, and explain um, where I'm coming from and maybe where our group was coming from at that time um, of Mujeres and Mice. But we've really built a movement, what I call not a movement, but a movement because um, it comes from a time and a space of creation, um, which is our womb, and it, it and a positive, sacred, beautiful space that creates life, whether that's a visual art piece or or actual um, babies in life. And so for us and for myself, that has really been where um, we have thrived and transformed ourselves and our community by just sharing who we are, um, our, our experiences that are very sad and maybe sometimes tragic, but also sharing those things that are really happy and our, our accomplishments. And so through Mujeres de Maíz and, and through the other work that I've done, I think that sharing our stories um, is really where we can heal ourselves and others, where I've been able to do that um, on my own also.